Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel if you're new, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today we're going to hit up the runner-up in the community poll, which is Mid-Air Thief. This is a little bit ironic because uh, the winner was spelling, and that video reaction that I uploaded was blocked in one country, which was South Korea. And now we're going to turn around and do a South Korean musician. All the lyrics are in uh, Korean. So I, I'm not going to do any kind of lyric dive or even pretend to do anything. But this is Midair Thief out of uh, probably Seoul, I'm guessing. And it's folktronica as described on wikipedia um it's late in the evening here so there is a little bit of shadow casting on me i'm going to smoke this uh nice you ever seen a cigar that's green those are called canelas and i've got a coffee here uh check out this mug that i have here just for kicks don't talk to me till i've had my cigar yeah all right. But anyway, this was recommended by Twiddle. It's going to make a bit of a tongue twister. Not Twiddle, but Twiddle. Twiddle. Okay. So there you go. And then I got a really strong pitch from Sarah Wills, who's uh, commented on things before. And she was, she said she was praying. Can you believe that? Praying that we hit up Midair Thief. Well, I told her. Praying's great, but we're going to hit it up anyway, so don't worry. So here we go, uh, with no further ado, and I'm just going to let this run. Mm. I didn't expect guitar. Harmony vocals. Oh, xylophone. It's almost like a toy xylophone.
nice and quiet. Okay, cool. So the closest thing we've hit uh, so far on this channel, sorry again about the light. Let me move over here a little bit. But um, the closest thing we've hit so far on here, I would say, is Blotty, who's kind of uh, ADD, but with space. Um, so I, I, I like that a lot. Really cool. And if you're going to be this um, throwing in the whole kitchen sink here, uh, you want to have some nice transitions, and I found that each element moved into the next element fairly smoothly. Uh, not a lot of jolts, and uh, you know the build ramped, and then they just brought in new instruments and dropped other ones out. I heard uh, you know a synth that sounded like uh, a little bit like a raspberry, and then you had um, you had like the toy xylophone and. You had all these uh, different elements, and it was really, uh, really cool. Um, so what I when I said with space, what I meant was uh, one of my a band that I don't really like all that well. I'm okay with them, but I'm not a big Florence and the Machine fan, and that's because that music sounds too crowded to me. It sounds like too many sounds competing. But here, every time they brought in a new element, they dropped something else out. And one thing I liked is, you know, the classic go-to here would be to use a harp, right? That, that would be the thing that would be the cliche. And, and uh, Mid-Air Thief, he, he, he they, I, I've seen it both ways. I don't know if it's a, uh, a, a musician Wiki says a musician and then turns around and uses uh, the they pronoun. And it's really hard to know who we're talking about here. But um, yeah, it, it's, it doesn't use uh, those uh, cliches. And, and I like that a lot. So it's busy in its ideas, but not busy in its space. If you'll follow me on that one, the, the logic on that. So. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, a lot of and the acoustic guitar that really made the song. I think it opens it up and it plays most of the time through. And again, that mix of acoustic instruments with electronic instruments, but then all that percussion. And I heard there's a the thing you rub the bells you rub the stick against, and uh, I, I guess not tubular bells, but just just percussive cylinder bells and all the different things that I heard on here. The synth almost sounded like a tuba. It was so deep in the register. And then you had some good bass beats on there. So I liked it. Thank you, Twildle and uh, Sarah, for uh, voting for this and recommending it. I'm going to give it an A. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. Um, I don't you know, usually I judge things on lyrics as well and can't tell you what the lyrics are about, but really cool. I'm glad I listened to Midair Thief. Pretty damn interesting. 
And like I say, it reminds me a little bit of Blade's uh, constantly moving ideas. And then, you know, it also reminds me a little bit of Animal Collective and some other people that do various kinds of layering. But I didn't hear loops on here. Animal Collective is, I think, more loop-based. But you, you get the idea. Um, and once in a while, there'd be harmonies. Yeah, just like I say, kind of ADD, but I, I don't mean that in a negative way. So that's it. The video's going on long enough. So thanks for joining me on the channel. And if you like what I'm doing, do hit that like or subscribe button. Hardly anyone does it. Less than 10% of you do it. But... It really helps. And uh, as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.